show you two different methods here of setting the 330s. I like a little J2 here, it works real good. You just run it down through the springs, get each eye over here, pull up on it, and you got a safety hook. I always make sure that safety hook is on. That's got that spring set on that side. Here's another good method a lot of people use. Is if you get your arm or something caught in it, you can use this method and get yourself out much easier than you can with the other one. Just run your rope through both eyes. We get the trout cooperate here. Run it back through again, back through both things. You got it around your foot down here. Just pick up on it, pull your rope. And it pulls the spring up tight. Set your safety catch on it. Just release your rope. That's just another way to set it. Either way, is actually they even got a scissor type setter that works real good. Get your triggers where you want them. And then just mash down on the trout. And you can hold it real easy. Make sure your safety catches get back on the trout good. Bring it over. I always set mine in the first notch. It just makes it a little bit stouter. I also got some small holders that I made myself out of cattle panels. Just cut them and fix them myself. You can buy them different places. They just fit right in there. It just helps hold your trap up. When you get ready to set it, you just push it down in the mud. And that helps hold your trap up just like that. Most time on the kind of bear, you want a log or something sitting over the top of it where when the beaver comes up, he'll dive and go in under it. We'll leave the safety catches on it. If you're just trapping, you'd want to take them off. That'd be the last thing you'd do. Just flip them off. And slide them down to the end. They'll be out of the way. You got it set where a beaver Coming through, he dives in under the log. He'll swim through it. He hits the trigger down here, and it goes off. You got your beaver caught. <laughs>